Today we're going to look at the Bill of Materials element of the Datalinks Warehouse Manager 200 solution. As I'm working in the Bill of Materials build, I would then access the Bill of Materials option. That will then give me a picking routine against my Bill of Material allocation. And once I've finished making or assembling those products, a Bill of Material completion option. If I click on the Bill of Material Allocation Pick, that will then give me all the bills of material that are available and need to be picked at this present moment within the warehouse that is called Factory within SAGE. The Bill of Materials that I've just put on as an allocation is this line here. You can see the allocation description, cross-reference and also the number match the allocation from the SAGE 200 software. I can then pick that up on my handheld and that will then present to me a pick list of those items that are required to be picked in order to make this particular bike. There are three items and the quantity that's required to be picked is also shown on the screen of the handheld. If I then choose to, I can scan barcodes in order to access the items or I can simply touch the screen if I don't have barcode labelled. Touching the screen will then take me to the bin location where I need to pick the items from. If I then scan that pick bin, and I can then at this case either touch the screen, hit enter or scan the item, I can then choose the quantity that I'm going to be picking for the item. And because these items are batch traceable, the system is then asking me which batches of product I'm actually going to be picking for this particular build against the bill of materials. This is dependent on the setting in the Sage stock master file. There are two settings, one of which will tell you which batch number it is that you are required to pick. The opposite setting will allow you to choose which batch number when you are actually doing the picking for the bill of materials. I have it set to enable me to choose, but either setting is acceptable to Datalink's warehouse manager. Then choose my batch number, and I can then confirm that I've picked those first items. That will change the colour on the screen to say that those have been fully picked, and I can then progress to my next item and so forth until I've completed my bill of material pick. Having completed my bill of material picking, that has now changed the colour of all the items and they are also showing on the screen here as having been picked. If I were to then do an inquiry, so if I were to go to the stock control area, do an inquiry and look at the stock history, for one of my component items, such as my wheels, I would then be able to see from here that I have a bill of material issue, taking 10 of those in order for a DL bike to be manufactured. This is the reference code on which those have been picked and issued out to the bill of materials. The second reference I put my initials but would just be the reference for the bill. The warehouse from which they came and also the bin location. I can click on this and also do a show details option which would also tell me that that was done by HH1, which is my login on the handheld. So this is giving traceability of who did what transaction within the warehouse. And then against that, if I click on the batch number details, that will also show me the batch number that was issued of that particular component and from which bin location and whatever quantity. And if batch attributes are in use, that will be held behind here as well.